Tomorrow morning we are in for a special treat when the moon moves in front of the sun, blocking sunlight, creating a fantastic ring of fire in the sky. This is the annular solar eclipse, not a total solar eclipse, but it will still be an amazing sight. Nonetheless, here to talk about how to safely view this eclipse and the science behind it is NASA expert Anita Day. Anita, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be with you. I imagine all of the kids in school this morning and maybe at home later today are making, uh, you know, what we are calling a pinhole camera to be able to safely view this eclipse. Tell us, first off, the science behind it, right? What is exactly happening in the sky? And then we can talk about how we can safely view it. Yeah, so tomorrow there's going to be an annular eclipse. That means the moon is going to move in front of the sun, but the angles are such that it won't cover the sun completely. So there'll be what people tend to call a ring of fire. Some of the sun will be exposed um, past the moon. And that means that um, That means that you can never take your, your um, solar glasses off when you're viewing the sun. You were talking about safety. So the indirect viewing method that you have there in front of you, the pinhole camera, is also a great way of looking at this. And there in San Diego, you won't see the ring of fire, but you're going to see a crescent sun. We're used to seeing a crescent moon. Right. But the crescent sun will be something to see as well. So what happens? I mean, obviously, in general, we shouldn't be looking directly at the sun. But when we yeah. have these eclipses taking place, why is it extra important that we don't look directly at it? There's a little bit more strength there to the sun's rays when we do so, right? Well, just like you said, we should never look at the sun directly. It's too bright uh, for our eyes to, to bear. Uh, but during an eclipse, there is the tendency to want to look at the sun. Um, normally the sun is just there, but an eclipse is a special event. So that's why we should make it a point not to look at the sun directly, except if you have the solar viewing glasses or indirectly like with your pinhole camera there. I imagine this is also just a fun event. Obviously we see these happen every now and again, uh, solar eclipses, lunar eclipses. Uh, tell us, I mean, obviously working at NASA, I'm sure your team too gets excited for these kinds of events, especially with just kind of the uh, country as a whole getting mobilized to go outside and get involved, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a great opportunity for science, uh, not just by NASA scientists, but also by every everybody in the country. So NASA is going to be launching some sounding rockets, uh, three rockets tomorrow, to see what the atmosphere looks like, how it changes during the eclipse. There's gonna be one launched just before the eclipse, during the eclipse, and just after. So that'll tell us about the ionosphere and how that changes without the solar energy, since that'll be blocked by the moon. But this is an also, also a chance for people to do citizen science. Uh, there's an app called the Globe Observer where people can uh, go and enter data that actually helps NASA research. They can track the temperature during the eclipse, uh, sounds, and cloud cover, because all of those things will change during the eclipse. And this is also an opportunity for people to understand that, that science is for everybody. Science is all about asking questions and observing. And so that's a great chance. You know, the eclipse is a great thing to observe and ask these questions. But you can do that in your everyday life as well. Awesome. Anita, we appreciate it. And then remind people where they can go for more information with everything going on with NASA. We know you guys are not only tomorrow, but every day doing awesome work. Yeah, thank you. So our main web page is nasa.gov. And if you specifically want information about the eclipse tomorrow, go to go.nasa.gov slash eclipse. Anita Day, we appreciate your time. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, uh, out and about looking uh, up there with protective equipment like I have here in my hand. So thank That's you right. for being with us. We appreciate it.